So, Chuck, ever been to Florida? You mean America's genitals? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You've you been to Florida? I have. Okay. Many times. I just want you to know that the state we call Florida and its shape as drawn on a map is a temporary thing. So, when you take a look at a coastline, there's the urge to think there's something fundamental about it. Mm -hmm. But there isn't. That's just the coastline today. That makes sense. Okay. True. Have you ever seen maps where you can see that the continent extends a little further out underwater? Have you ever noticed that? Uh, you know what they call it? No. The continental shelf. Right. Yeah. That, that, you, yeah you, I've, I've seen that. Right, yeah. You've seen that. Yes. And so it kind of follows our contour. Right. But it's way, way, out. way out there. Exactly. And in fact, a lot of trash dumping activity... In the old days, now you, you you process the trash. Right. In the old days, they would put on a barge and go beyond and the continental shelf. Dump. Dump it there so that it goes way down to the bottom. Right. Rather than possibly ever washing back, back up. On, right. Okay. And I remember looking at that as a kid and I said, why does the shape of our continent continue underwater? I didn't understand that. Do you know what that that other edge is underwater? That's the coastline of North America when the ocean had less water in it. Right. <laughs> when the oceans were drained. Yeah. Get used to that, people. <laughs> wait, I'm getting, get it's used right. to that. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> when the oceans were drained, all these coastlines looked different. They were bigger. They were bigger. Well, when was the where the oceans drained? During the Ice Age. You know how ice ages work? You still have your oceans, mm -hmm. and you still have evaporation. Because where does water come from that falls out of the sky? Right. It used to be in the ocean. oceans. Ocean didn't come from land. No, of course not. Okay, came from oceans and other bodies of water. Right. All right. So the water evaporates up, but Earth is really, really, really cold. So it goes into the cloud, and then the cloud goes over land, and it doesn't rain. It snows and deposits that water as snowflakes. snowflakes. Okay. Right. So the snow is there. Does the snow ever make it back to the ocean? No. no. For every snowflake that lands, that goes to land and never melts. Right. You have systematically drained water from the oceans. Right. And if this goes on for thousands of years, you then build these layers of snow to make a new form of ice, which is glacial ice. Right. It's not snow and it's not ice in your freezer. It's a different form of matter Ooh. for the water molecule. Exactly. Okay, glacial ice. It's basically compactified snow. It just stays there. It stays there, frozen. So you are draining the ocean. And as you drain the ocean, oh my gosh. What happened? Oh, back here, the, the, where Alaska and Asia meet with the Bering Strait. Mm. Our ancestors walked over. Oh, they didn't take a boat. What? They didn't fly. What you doing Tuesday? Let's <laughs> take a walk. <laughs> take, go for a walk. <laughs> so there they were in Asia, and there was a land and settlements there, we've come to learn. They crossed into North America after having risen up out of Africa into Europe. Others went into Asia, some stayed low, others went high. They get to that boundary, they cross over, and they settle North America, Central America, and South America. Then the Ice Age ends. Oh what my God, what, what, <laughs> we're so trapped. What happened to the land bridge? Well, well, no, they've long forgotten. Yeah. Okay, so it happens kind of slow. Right. And then it, co it covers over, uh, all right? Many generations. All right, so what, yes, but you are correct. With the water levels rising, changing all the coastlines, has now stranded a branch of the human species mm. into North, Central, and South America. And now we must wait until white man comes <laughs> to discover to us. To discover us. <laughs> so we can be real. <laughs> uh, so we strand a branch of the human species into North and South America, and the water levels begin to rise. But at that time... The coastline of the Americas was that continental shelf. Now imagine if people started building cities on that continental shelf. They, they'd all be gone today. Okay, so what happens is the Ice Age ends, and the end of the Ice Age is a mixture of warmth and cold, mm. where the cold has retained glaciers for tens of thousands of years up here in Greenland. Right. And of course, down, down here, here in Ant Antarctica. Antarctica. That period is relatively stable. Yes, we have 
some storms and things, yes. Right, right. But we have sustained one of the most climactically peaceful periods in recent Earth history. 10,000 years of relatively stable climate, mm -hmm. rel post ice age. Right. And when you're relatively stable, you say, oh, well, where is the coastline? Here is the coastline. Let's put New York there or New Amsterdam. Right. Why? Because it's on a river. Right. You can have irrigation. You have transportation. You have commerce. Commerce. You have, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Business. All right. So the coastline of all the world's nations today reflect 10,000 years of stable climate. The glaciers stayed glaciers in the cold parts. Right. And other glaciers that had melted had filled up the oceans. It's been stasis, relative stasis. We are now warming Earth beyond that period of time. Yep. And so the glaciers that are still there, that were in kind of equilibrium with us as we built civilization. And by the way, where are all major cities in the world? They're on the water's well, on, edge. On the, right on the coastline. At <laughs> practically, except for Denver, yeah, right? Right, but, yeah. right? Practically every major city in the world, right. famous historical city, is on some kind of water line. So now we are warming the earth. The glacial ice on Greenland, let's find Greenland right there, and the gl glacial ice on Antarctica... You say, well, Greenland's not all that big, and Antarctica's not. No, well, what are you worried about? Well, da, 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 da. Big deal. If we lose all the glacial ice in Greenland, right. it'll melt and go into what? The ocean. The ocean. We melt it on the, uh, uh, Antarctica? Ocean. It goes into the ocean. That's right. Raising the sea level. Rising sea level. Okay. Now, the Statue of Liberty is actually on a huge pedestal. Right. I don't know if you knew that. Yes. It's huge. Yeah. It Almost is. as big as, it's, it's like as, half as the seat. bottom of the statue. At the bottom of the statue of Yeah, no, that's what she sits on. That's what raises up out of the bay. Exactly. Right. So the water levels will rise so high that it'll reach her left elbow. That's crazy. That means there will be no no more Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You lose New York. You lose New York. You lose, you lose Man all of North Jersey. Oh, go, go. You lose. <laughs> Not that anybody cares. <laughs> Let's be Said honest. Said no one ever. <laughs> we lose New York, and we, we lose, lose North, North Jersey, too. <laughs> Said no one ever what? in the history of climate conversation. Who invited this guy? <laughs> <laughs> the dude from Jersey. So you lose all of that. Yeah. And it's a different coastline. It is. It's a coastline. Once, once again. Without Florida. There you go. Oh, you, so there's one good thing to climate change. Would you change. stop? No, stop. Stop. Woo. Stop. We got to protect all our 50 states. <laughs> so I, the, the average elevation of Florida is six feet. Oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye, Florida. If you're starting with six right. feet, you yeah. ain't got nothing. Exactly. It's like, yeah, so basically uh, your elevation is Chuck plus an inch. <laughs> <laughs> you in a lot of you in a lot of trouble, man. Right, there's some satellite shots over Florida. You see these reflections off of these bodies of water throughout Florida. Right. So of course there's the Okeechobee Lake, which is the big one right there in the middle. Okay. But you look around, it's like body of water, body of water, body of water. So the, it's like the water is already ready to take over. Yeah, it's like we're just we're waiting. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. One day we will all exactly. join with one another. Bide your time, fellas. <laughs> Our time is at hand. We have invited the oceans <laughs> to join exactly. us. Exactly. <laughs> the oceans are on board. <laughs> so that's a whole other coastline right. of the future. Look at that. And so now you're going to look down on Earth, and there's no, there's nothing inherent about the existence of Florida right. on Earth's surface. And there are other parts. We'll lose a lot of in northern Canada. There's a lot of sort of low, yeah. low lying lands. Almost all of the South Pacific island nations are gone. Right. Uh, they, they also have very low elevations. Get of course, your vacations in now. <laughs> get your vacation. Uh, Florida, as we said, we lose Florida. The Florida Keys, in fact, have an even a lower elevation than Florida right. itself. That's a shame. So they're gone, and Ken is gone. We're going to lose Ken. Right. I think he hung out at the Florida Keys. Yeah. I just want to impress upon you that when we think of Earth, there's nothing inherent about the existence of land poking up above the existence of water. The water levels have changed over time, and they're changing now, and they're going to redraw the map once again. Cool and not cool. Like, it's a great novel thing to know and consider, but it's also terrifying that the difference is that was a natural engineering of coastlines that you explained before. Mm -hmm. That's a natural engineering of coastlines. What we have now is... A anthropo 
anthropomorphic engineering. Right. And in fact, like I said, we grew civilization on a stable climate and a stable coastline. Right. And and that took thousands of years before that to get to that point right. and stabilize out. Right. And now on a time scale of decades. 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 We're looking at maybe changing all of that. All of that. Yeah. Well, there you have it. That is. All right. So, oh, so Chuck, oh, well. hey, I don't mean to bum oh, you out man, like that. I'm, I'm just so saying. sad right now. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> all right. We're going to end it there. All right. That's, that's, that's my little uh, coastline and climate change. That's good. That's, hey, listen, that's a good one. Good one for everybody to think about. Just how tenuous our existence is uh, when it comes to climate change. And just don't and think. the fact it, that 70% of all humanity is living by the water. Yeah. And don't, and don't think that coastlines are something fundamental right to earth yeah exactly it's accidental yeah. in this moment that's it that's yep. it we're totally in flux so that's it okay. chuck that's a yet another star talk explainer delivered to you from the cosmic grid aha yeah at the american museum of natural history hayden planetarium neil degrasse tyson here as always keep looking up